Is your baby almost walking? Here are some tips on how to encourage her first steps. At around nine months, many babies are good at crawling and can crawl themselves up to a stand. At around 10 months, babies can stand for a while, as long as they are holding on to something. Then, by the time they are 11 months of age, babies can move around the room supported by furniture. Finally, by around one year of age, your baby is ready to walk. Here's how you can encourage your baby's first steps. Confidence is the key to get her started. So let her rest in a standing position while holding on to something to build her confidence. You can also stand several steps away from your baby and call her to come to you. Compliment her on a job well done. To strengthen your baby's motor skills, build a kind of obstacle course for her. Remember, mobility can put your baby at risk, so watch her carefully, but let her enjoy her new freedom. How and when should you introduce your baby to a swimming pool? Safety first. Never leave your child unattended in the pool or near it. Always secure your pool to prevent possible drowning incidents. Introducing your baby to the water at an early age is likely to diminish water anxiety. Also, your baby will learn appropriate behavior in the pool and near it. If you have access to a warm pool, you can bring your baby into the water with you as early as six months. Just remember to protect them from the sun. When you bring baby into the pool, go slowly. Give him time to acclimate. Cuddle your baby in the water so he feels safe. Play games and sing songs while floating him on his back. Back floating builds confidence in the water. When your baby is older, you can let him jump to you. Be consistent when introducing a new move and use counting to create a routine. If you, as a parent, feel uncomfortable in the water, consider putting your child in a water awareness program so he can learn the basics and grow up to be confident in the water. What is the right age to introduce solid foods to your baby? Pediatricians' recommendations change from time to time. At the moment, baby experts recommend introducing solid foods to a baby who is six months old, can sit up, and has doubled his birth weight. Nutritionists recommend starting your baby with root vegetable purees because they are naturally sweet. The best fruits for your baby to eat first are apples and pears because they are easy to digest. It is a good idea to introduce one vegetable or fruit at a time, so it is easier to discover if your baby has any food allergies. Try each fruit or vegetable for three days in a row before switching to another. Cow's milk should be introduced later, since it can be very allergenic. Eating from a spoon is very different from sucking, so your baby might need time to adjust. It is very likely that at first your baby will spit up everything. Be patient. Different children have different tastes, so just keep trying with different foods. What can you expect during the first few visits to the pediatrician? The first visit to the pediatrician usually occurs within the first week of your baby's life. The pediatrician will check your baby from head to toe and watch for the degree of weight loss since birth. Up to 10% of weight loss is considered normal. The following visits to the pediatrician usually occur at one month, two months, and four months of age. These visits correspond to immunization visits. During these visits, your pediatrician will check your baby's growth by measuring his head, body length, and weight, his eyes for visual tracking and alignment, and ears for infection or fluid. The doctor will also listen to your baby's heart and check his lungs and abdomen for abnormalities. 
It is a good idea to bring a list of questions and concerns when you visit your pediatrician to make sure you get all the information you need. Here's a good rule of thumb. During the first two months of life, take your baby to a doctor every time he has a fever over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Subscribe now.